Hello, Louis. Hi. Uh, Louis, uh, you're just back from Yale in US and Singapore after 12 months yeah. uh, studying there. And you were a student at Auckland International College for three years, year 11 to 13. And you were a very well known student because you were ultimately head boy prefect. So yeah. I think you're um, a good person to be able to talk about your experience here and what you're doing now at Yale in US. So um, my first question um, to you, my first question is, if we go back in time, what you were in a good school in Auckland and you chose to come to Auckland International College. Can you tell me what your reasons were? I ultimately decided to come to Auckland International College because I decided that I wanted more than what was available um, at my current school. I wanted to go international and go overseas for university or at least have the opportunity and the ability to apply to overseas universities. Mm -hmm. And to do that, I needed university counselling and I needed guidance and I needed the help and support um, that Auckland International College provides in addition to the curriculum of the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Okay, so leaving your friends behind uh, at the end of year 10 and moving to a new senior high school, which was probably very different to what you were used to, how did you find it? What struck you once you came here? Is that what were the greatest points of difference? Yeah, so I think the greatest points of difference um, would be the class size. Um, and that has a lot of lead on effects. Mm. So having a lot smaller class size means that I have um, a lot more interactions one on one with the teacher and a lot more discussion based and in depth learning mm -hmm. um, with the other students without interactions with each other, mm -hmm. um, which was ultimately very important in succeeding in the IB diploma. So if you compare the atmosphere of an Auckland International College classroom with the classroom of a, a, a typical New Zealand high school, other than class size, what were the greatest differences that you found? I think everyone was motivated to be there and everyone who was here was here for a reason mm -hmm. and we all have a goal coming out of here and this mm -hmm. is what was our pathway to wherever we wanted to be, mm -hmm. not just in three years at university, but also in five or 10 years in our careers. Mm -hmm. So everyone was on task, motivated, wanted to get the most out of the teachers and the teachers are on board with us to help us do as well as we could. Okay, so moving on from arriving here and studying here to where you are now, which is at a top university in Singapore, uh, I want to talk about how you feel that the school prepared you for university. Mm -hmm. So first of all, maybe there are two aspects. One is academically, and the second is as a person, as a human being. Absolutely. So academically, the school prepared me so much so that university has not been difficult for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's been more enjoyable because of how the IB and Auckland International College set me up for um, academic writing in general. Mm -hmm. So the ability to be able to write an essay um, and get my ideas on paper um, in a concise way has been something which I learned at um, Auckland International College and something that has helped me unwaveringly throughout my first year at university. Mm -hmm. The ability not just to write academically, but to know how to reference, mm -hmm. to know how to make a concise paragraph, to know how to really get my ideas and say what I want to say with precision mm -hmm. has been something that I learned not just in um, English literature class, mm -hmm. but also through the university guidance that you and uh, the team has given me. Okay, so moving beyond the academic preparation, if we uh, move now to, you know, you were, you were very involved in the school, you were involved in school activities outside the academics, um, and uh, have you carried that on into the in US? It's given me the ability to join similar um, opportunities in university where I've been able to take on leadership roles, mm -hmm. such as um, in student organisations and advisory committees to the school and to be able to liaise with um, upper management within my university as well as students mm -hmm. and take these leadership opportunities on has been something that I wouldn't be able to do without the leadership opportunities that I was given in high school at Auckland International College. Okay, and moving to specifically to 
getting to university from yes. Auckland International College. What kind of help or support did you find most beneficial while you were at Auckland International College? University guidance counselling was the biggest thing which um, a, uh, gave me the opportunity to apply to over 20 colleges internationally wow. yeah. in the US, in the UK, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia. Mm -hmm. Even if I didn't want to take up these opportunities, at least I had the choice. Mm -hmm. um, I had the deadlines that were given to me and these are things that I just wouldn't be able to do without the guidance that was given to me. And I feel like I, I know I wouldn't be where I am today without the support. I had mm -hmm. hours and hours, I had tens of hours of guidance counselling on brainstorming for essays from different mm -hmm. universities on editing these essays and reinforcing why I wanted to be there, where I wanted to go to university, mm -hmm. and this just isn't possible, wouldn't be possible at any other college. In. Okay, and, and you were rewarded, of course, because you're now on a scholarship Yes. from Yale in US. So you had offers from very good universities around the world, including scholarship offers. So that must also be a plus. I wouldn't be where I am today without the help that was given to me.